ladies, Manisha here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to any new subscribers too. So today I'm sharing some beautiful new mirror powder. This is very kindly been sent out to me by Ball Pretty Store. And I've got a 20% off discount code, which is MMX20. That'll give you a 20% off um, full and um, discounted items. So you can um, use it on pretty much anything store-wide. So these little powders here, they do um, come in a one gram pot, which is quite cute. I've actually just taken the barcodes off the outside of the packaging. So they do come in a little, excuse the rustling, a little pouch like that which is um, sealable I've just taken them out and popped the product code underneath so there's 15 colors currently available so I've got a beautiful sort of purpley pinky color um, this one here I thought it was going to be aqua blue because but it's showing a bit more green on camera and I thought this one would be quite a good sort of rose gold color so I'm going to be swatching these on some pop sticks so with these being a sort of you know mirror powder you do need to apply them over a cured top coat so I've used um, Born Pretty Store's No Wipe Top Coat just cured that in the lamp for 30 seconds and um, I'm going to use the ones with the black base um, I just think they're going to give more of a mirror effect um, and just sort of show the colours up more and uh, we'll just see how we go but I've also got um, some of these striping tapes as well to share with you so I've got this gorgeous metallic sort of pupil colour I'm sure that's going to be very popular amongst viewers. Then I've got this beautiful royal blue, also metallic. And then this really cool one here, which is like a rainbow colour one I thought was really cool. Now I do love using these sorts of striping tapes. Just find them a lot easier to use um, that because they're on the sheet. You're basically just lifting each piece that you need. And then just use a set of cuticle nippers just to cut them or a pair of snips. And um, yeah, you're good to go. You can just select whatever width um, or size that you want. So I'll be reviewing these alongside these um, powders today and we'll see how we go. The um, product code for these are um, 48573. I will leave direct links for everything that I'm reviewing for you down below. So let's see how we go. Okay, so these do have a little screw top lid and um, they're not completely full to the brim, but um, there's still quite a decent amount of product now with anything like these, um, you don't need a lot to actually get application on the nail. So I've done this over a cured top coat, like I did mention before. And as you can see, I haven't actually gone in to dab the um, applicator in again. So I've just managed to use a tiny smidge and that's given really good um, coverage. Just wiped off any excess off with the brush and um, I'm going to move on to the next colour here. So this one's um, beautiful, sort of like a green um more like a turquoise green colour, it's very very pretty, I do quite like it. And um, now I did have a look on the website, so with these ones here they do recommend going in for a second coat and I will be doing that with my swatches. But if you don't want to and you get a really good coverage with one coat you can just go ahead and leave it. Um, I just felt like this one and the next one here were a little bit on the patchy side. Um, now you can alleviate this by doing a similar colour um, gel polish base. And then if there is any patchiness, you just won't notice it. But because I've done these over a black tip, um, yeah, the patchiness will show up. And it might be a case of not applying the top coat on very well or, you know, the curing and things like that. It just depends on what top coat you're wearing. But yeah, I'd be going in with a second coat of it just to make sure that um, you've got completely 100% coverage. And um, this is the top coat going on here. So I have used the same top coat that I used before. So this is the Born Pretty Store one. And I will be um, popping the powder over these again. Now I usually use a specific top coat for glitters and powders and pigments. Uh, if you haven't got one yourself, I'd probably be wiping your brush off before popping it back in the bottle after you've um, you know done it over the top of this. Because if you've got anything left on your brush, it will contaminate your top coat. Here's the swatches and aren't they beautiful? I'm really happy with the colours I've selected but there are many many more on the um, website. Obviously there's um, blues and golds and silvers and purples and things like that so there's lots to choose from. 15 colours in all so there is definitely something there for everybody but I just love how these have turned out. Now I did do um, the you know rubbing in twice so I sort of um, did the top coat, cured it, 
applied the first layer of the powder, wiped off any excess, and then I actually applied a second coat of the um, top coat and then repeated that process. Now it does actually say that on the website and I'm glad I did do it because I just found with a couple of them they're a little bit patchy, especially um, the rose goldy sort of colour one. Had a few patches in there and I wasn't happy with the application. And um, I don't know if it's user error or what, but anyway it does pay to do that second coat. Um, that eliminates any problems or any issues that you might have. So this is the first one that I did. Let's see if the camera will actually get that in focus. So that's this one here, which is colour number two. Really, really gorgeous. Definitely a mirror, mirror finish there. Now I've only used the Born Pretty Store top coat. Haven't tried it with any others, but I'm sure you will get a really good result if you've got a different brand top coat as well. This one's colour number 14 really gorgeous more of a sort of a jade green i would say rather than aqua blue is what it was showing on the uh, website but you know that can it's just the way things are sort of projected on computers and screens and things you can never get the um the color 100 percent accurate and anyway this is the last color so this is i would class that more of a rose gold sort of shade or a coppery kind of um it's like a darker gold really yeah i wouldn't class it as a a pure gold I think there's more of a yellowy gold there as well to choose from so this is color number 12 really really pretty so next I'm going to move on to the um, striping tapes that I just mentioned before so I think I'll just use some of these um, swatches to do these on because I think it'll be quite nice to have a mixture of metallics and we'll just try them out different few different ways and see what we can come up with so I've just taken these out of the protective packaging so they just come in a plastic sleeve and as you can see I'm just using a pair of tweezers there to lift off whichever stripe I want and I'm using a pair of of cuticle nippers just to cut it now you can actually just use a pair of scissors I just find the cuticle nippers really good because I can get kind of right in there and um, snip off any extra bits so that's a narrow um, you know striping tape so they do go from narrow to wide I think this one might be a two millimeter width and the first one might be a one millimeter or something like that I'm not very accurate at measuring things but I'm kind of just eyeballing it but it's nice that there is a mixture of different sizes there on the um, the sheet. And these are a lot less fiddlier than the ones that you get on rolls. Now I don't tend to use those anymore. Um, and I'm glad they've brought out a whole new range of striping tapes on sheets now. Because I do prefer to use these ones like this. So I'm moving on to the rainbow one. And I've selected um, this one from the centre. And I wanted to get one that had a different colour other than the purple showing up on it. And the beauty of the um, rainbow one is that they've used pretty much all the colours there. And you do get a good selection on one sheet. And of course you do get the gradient between the different colours too. So I'm moving on to this gold one here. And um, yeah, just popping that on the bottom. So I just sort of did a bit of a diagonal striping design with these ones here. You can go ahead and do crisscrossing if you want to as well becomes a more um, like a plaid sort of mini if you do that. Now when you do pop your top coat on I sort of tend to follow the um, the angle of the striping tape as well and then I will actually cure that and do a second coat of top coat. Moving on to the next colour I've got the blue colour one here. Now I really do like how they are metallic and they are reflective. Now in hindsight doing these reflective um, striping tapes on the mirror polish probably isn't the best combination but anyway it was I was working with what I had and I thought it would be quite nice to pair these up but I think if you did these um, metallic striping tapes on a cream base they'd look even more amazing because they would really stand out so here they're actually competing a bit with that mirror finish but I still do like the combination and they were fun to use together so I'm just showing you here that you can actually go around the edge of the nail now for some reason um, I found this a little bit fiddly when I got to the end now I'm not, I'm not used to dealing with pointy um, nails my nails are on the shorter side and I'm sure most people have nails that are my length so um, yeah not very many people have pointy nails I don't know don't even know why I pulled these tips out but it's because they turned up in the mail and I thought it might be quite nice to show the mirror effect on a longer nail as opposed to a shorter nail but anyway um, I did use one whole stripe to go around the edge of the nail and I'm just showing you that you can actually add other curves in that too and so that these striping tapes are quite flexible and um, they are a little bit fiddly and this does 
take a little bit of practice to get it and you can see me doing that here but you can lift and reposition them quite a few times just try not to get your fingers on the sticky part of it and then you won't mess up the um, you know how sticky it is and it will give you a better a better finish at the end of the day now you can use a silicon tool or something like that to press these down to make sure you've got rid of any air bubbles and it has stuck down firmly to the nail before going ahead and top coating it but um, I'm really happy with how these designs have turned out and um, you can add as little or as much as you want to to each nail now when I cut this one I realized I'd cut it too short so then I ended up lifting it and um, putting it further down on the nail sort of so coming from the tip upwards and um, I found that sort of um, I just don't want to waste any more tape to be honest with you and I really liked how the um, pink and red sort of showed up on that coppery color that um, rose gold color it was a really nice contrast and then I thought I'd just add some of the purple um, to this one and just do a really nice simple design so like I said before you can add as much or as little as you want to with these striping tapes but um, yeah they're just still lots of fun and there's no sort of wrong way of using them really I'll just be sealing them in with a couple of coats of top coat just to make sure you've got it nice and flat and completely sealed in you're better to cut it shorter around the edge of the nails rather than leaving it too long because that's probably where it will lift at the end of the okay, day. So I'm back with the final swatches. We've got our three original mirror ones that we've done with these beautiful mirror powders. And then I've got the three that I've added the striping tapes onto. So you've seen that I can do um, obviously straights, but I've managed to do curves as well. They are a little bit fragile. You've got to watch how you handle them, but I was able to do a full... Um, you know sort of edging around the whole nail there sorry the camera's gonna have trouble focusing because there's just so much reflection there but you can see that I've sort of gone around the whole of the nail tip and then I've done a couple of curves in the center now with anything like this I'd probably be doing um, a couple of coats of top coat just to make sure you lock it all in and um, that'll smooth out the surface too but it's great once you do pop the top coat on because you can't actually see the edge of the um, striping tape but I do like how easy it is to use and how versatile the um, rainbow one's quite a lot of fun actually it's um it's come up really cute on the nail I've just used the rainbow one there and I did on one of the other tips as well but I do, do like how they've turned out so there's five different colors available in these and there's 15 colors in these so do check them out thank you again born pretty for sending these out to me so don't forget my 20% off discount code ladies MMX20 I'll leave it for you down below as well as well as all the direct links and if you haven't done so already I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel it is free to do so and um, hit that notification bell too so you don't miss any uploads from me and apart from that hopefully I'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.